Guys, let's see if you know the struggle. 83 V65 Magna. Calipers were locked up, taken off before I bought the bike. No problem there. She rolled. But then you have to get the calipers off of the actual line. And while we're at it, freed up this so we can get the pads off. This is what I had to do. I brought the vise out, had to set it up on a stool. I just lightly grabbed it in the vise, put my foot on there, and I was able to tap the bolts free, but nothing else I tried would work. So there you go. This is where we're starting on the brakes on the front, front brakes on the 83 Magna in black. So just letting you guys know, loosen these bolts or take them off before you remove the calipers from the bike so that they have a nice firm spot for you to get those bolts off because holding this in your hand is not going to work. Or tell me you're strong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you have a better way to do this in the comments. Tell me I'm weak. I'm a weakling. But guys, I made it work. So I'll do the other one and then we can uh, dig into these brake calipers. Okay, now that we got the calipers off the bike, um, I dumped out as much brake fluid as I could. Now, let me just tell you from doing this on gold wings, you're not going to have all the brake fluid out when you think you do. It's going to all of a sudden fall out from somewhere. Turn it left, turn it right, let it sit upright for a while, come back, dump it. Um, that's why I have this pan here. Uh, it's it's going to hide in there. So. If you think you have it all out, you don't because you're going to turn it at one point and it's going to fall out. So just drain them for a while, let them sit, come back, dump them again. Just dump them out of the hole where the bolt, where the banjo bolt went in. Um, there is a crush washer, a, cru a crush washer that sits in here just under the banjo bolt. So don't lose that if you plan on using it again. You're supposed to replace them and uh, I usually don't especially when I don't have a kit, but don't lose them if you're going to try and use them again. Uh, as, as far as leaks are concerned, you might want to re replace the crush washers. So anyway, next thing I'm going to do is take off this bolt here on the back side so I can release this bracket and pull out these pins so that I can release the brake pads. Pins come out this side once you take the bracket off. So I'll do that quick on this one to show you. Whoops. So there goes my bolt. That's your bolt there. And there is a, well, that's the bracket. The bracket is just going to release by shifting it upward and then you lift it off of these rods do, do, do. there you go brackets free and then you very casually push and pull your rods through why is that rod stuck well these brakes are all stuck so that one pushed through. I mean, you can see it moved. I'll pull it from the other side. You can actually see this one shifted forward. This one needs to be freed up. And then the brake pads, once these are through, I'll have to give that some encouragement. Those hold the brake pads in there so then I can lift those out and access the pistons. Oh, I am dumping brake fluid. Here we go. All right, I'm going to get them free and come back to you. Okay, I think it's worth showing you here now that the pads are out. Um, the pads on this bike, this is the 83 Magnus 6 uh, V65. The pads are exactly alike, but to be able to put them in, you can see this is the inside because that's the indent left on the pad backing. And then you can tell this is the outside. It's actually dirtier. Eh, just different, different dirt setup. But uh, these pads are almost new. 
This bike was well taken care of by the previous owner, and uh, the only reason we have to do this work is because it had to sit. Um, he was deployed to the military, and I'll tell you more about the story once it's running and riding in a vlog, a moto vlog. But just to let you know, while it was being ridden and had the maintenance done, but, you know, when they sit, they get seized up. And, uh, you know, it doesn't help that it looks like we have, what, a steel body on the caliper. And then it looks like copper for the uh, cylinders. When you apply your brakes, the pressure from the fluid goes in here and fills up the reservoir behind the cylinders. And then the cylinders push your brake pads in. And then when you relieve the pressure, that pressure just release, releases and they go back naturally to where they belong. So right now these two metals have seized together. Basically just decided that's where they wanted to sit. And uh, they're in the out position where you can't make them move. So what I'm going to start by trying is pushing them out with compressed air in this hole to basically act as the pressure from the fluid in hopes that I can push them out. And if that doesn't work at all, I have to grab them and twist them and pull them manually to see if I can get them to move forward. I will have to clean this up so that it moves freely. We want the cylinders and the bores to be clean and smooth so that they can move back and forth on their own without seizing up as they are. So that's how a brake works. And uh, here is your bleeder nipple. I would have uh, ran the fluid out of the bike, um, but we're gonna have to do that anyway when we fill this. So the fluid in here is nice and clean, so I'm not worried about contaminants in the system. So uh, we'll just run new fluid in and chase out the old fluid when we hook this back up. So I think we're not draining anymore. I don't see any falling out. So anyway, this might be plenty for part one on removing the seized brake calipers off the front of the V65 Magna. So there might be a part two actually getting these bores out, cleaning them up. So I will catch you on the next one. Get out and ride. That's what we're going to plan to do after this. I don't know if I'm going to need to order any parts, but... Hopefully I can just clean these up and they will be good to go. And then we'll put new fluid in and uh, put in the good brake pads and uh, reassemble everything and uh, bleed out the air. So there's definitely air in the system now, if there wasn't before. So I will catch you on the next one. Have a great time. Have a great day.